Okay, so we are now going to be finding some situ or finding some answers within exponential decay and growth. The world population in 2000 was approximately 6.8 billion. The annual rate of increase was about 1.26%. So if I were to write this as an exponential growth, because we're increasing every time, I would start off with 6.8, or 6.08, sorry, as my A value, and then times, remember my B value would be one plus the percent expressed as a decimal. So this would be my percent expressed as a decimal. So my B, B value is 1.0126. And that's what's going to, going to go in my equation. And that will be raised to the x power. Now it says to find the world population in 2010. Now the world population in 2000 was 6.08 billion. So in 2010, that would be 10 years later. So what that means is we are going to put 10 in for x. Now I'm going to show you how to type this into your calculator. Um, we are going to just type in, uh, type it in exactly how we see it. So we're going to type in 6.08. So 6.08, you can see that on my screen right now. And then we're going to hit the multiplication symbol. So times, and then 1.0126. So this should be on your screen right now. And then we're going to raise that 1.0126 uh, to the 10th power, so caret. And then we type in 10 as our exponent. And then we can hit enter. And we get about, so I'm going to do the about symbol. Um, the squiggly equals sign means it's approximately 6 point eight nine billion people. And that's your answer. Okay, moving on to the next question. A computer valued at 6,500 depreciates at a rate of 14.3% per year. So let's first write this exponential decay y is equal to, we start with 6,500, and I need to find my b value. My b value would be 1 minus my percent expressed as a decimal. So my b value comes out to be 0.857. Putting that into my equation, this is what my equation looks like. We want to find the value of the computer after three years. So what that means is I'm going to be putting three in for x. I'm going to show you again how to type this into your calculator. We can type it all in at once. So we're first going to type in the 6,500. So I have that right there. And then we're going to hit the time symbol. And then I'm going to hit the 0.857. So this is what's on my screen right now. And then I'm going to raise that 0.857 to the third power. So I'm going to be typing in the caret and then typing in three. And then we hit enter. And so then we're going to write our answer since we're talking about um, money. We're going to round to the nearest cent. So we have approximately equal to $4,091.25. All right, and then the last problem. The population of a certain animal species decreases at a rate of 3.5% per year. You have counted 80 animals in the habitat you are studying. So your exponential function would be y is equal to 80. You start off with 80 animals times, now my decay, my b value, my decay rate is one minus 
my percent expressed as a decimal, which is this. So it's 0.965. and that would be raised to the x power. Now this one says we wanna estimate the number of years, so we're trying to find x until the population first drops below 15 animals. So what that means is that we want our population to be about 15, or first drop below 15, so we want it uh, to be less uh, than 15. And this is our setup. Now, unfortunately, we do not learn logarithms in this class. You guys will learn that in high school. But we can use guess and check to try to figure out this problem. So let's put um, x values in to see when the population drops below 15. So here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to show you on the calculator. In your calculator, you're going to type in 80 times 0.965, and then to the first power. That means that would be one year. And you're gonna hit equals. And is your population below 15 yet? No, um, it is going, it, it is 77.2. Uh, so then I'm gonna hit times 0.965 again. So this pops up. And then you hit enter. And is your population below 15 yet? No. And that was after two years. So now from this point, what we could do is we can just keep hitting enter. Enter, that would be three years. It's not below 15 yet. Enter, four years. Enter again, five years. Enter, six. Enter, seven years. Enter, eight years. Enter, nine years. Enter again, 10 years. Keep going. 11 years, 12 years, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, not below 15 yet. 47, it's just below 15 after 47 years. So we're gonna write that it took approximately 47 years for the population to drop just below 15. I was quite mean on that problem making you do that 47 times. But that's how we would do a problem like this. We would just use our calculator to do some guess and check. All right, that's it for this lesson.